Hello, my name is Billy Buck, and I'm going to do a brief demonstration on how I set up and optimize Reaper for when using the U81 plugins. Uh, first thing I'd like to show you is how I have the U81 performance meter set up. I tend to keep it on the desktop and always on top mode so I can monitor the DSP status at all times. Uh, if you go to the drop down menu, configuration tab, you'll see how I have it set up. Uh, basically, I have the DSP settings, a limit CPU load deselected. Uh, I do have the load limit all the way up at 100, and I just deselect it. Uh, and the PCI bus settings, I keep it stock at 64. I've tried different configurations here. I really haven't much made much of a difference, so just keep it 64. Host compatibility mode, this is basically for sonar, so just keep that deselected. It should be all set for the U81 card. Um, you go to uh, the audio device settings. You really need to be using ASIO drivers, okay? Uh, and you know, a high, you know, good quality, low latency uh, audio card. I've got a Delta 66, and I've got it at 1024, which is fine for mixing. I can get down as low as 256 without any crackling in the audio with my uh, CPU, which is a Core Duo. Um, that's with all four cards maxed out with 3040 plugins, U U U81 plugins. If I'm not maxing out my cards, eh, I can get down to 128 at times, but I can quite easily get down to 256 without any issues. Uh, but, you know, save on CPU, I usually mix at 1024. And because Reaper has um, uh, PDC plug-in delay compensation, you know, I really don't need that low of latency when, when you're mixing. Um, the, that's that. Uh, VST tab, make sure your U81 synchronous mode is enabled. Uh, this reduces CPU much, very important. Uh, you need to have this checked. You need to have save as banks, save full VST plugin state, and get VST plugin names checked as well. Um, make sure you have the VST plugin path where your U81 plugins are installed. Uh, make sure that path is entered here so when Reaper does its VST scan, plugin scan will pick up U81 plugins. Uh, let's see, under the playback, make sure run FX when stopped is checked. Under buffering, I usually keep all these top portion here. I think it's the defaults here, just keep those at the stock positions. Um, make sure the optimized buffering for low latency hardware is checked. And also, uh, if you have multiple CPU, uh, make sure if you want to use both CPUs when you're using U81 plugins, make sure this is checked. Otherwise, when you uh, check the U81 synchronous mode, it will relegate you to one CPU when you, you utilizing native effects, which, you know, I'm sure you don't want to do that. So when this is checked, best to go ahead and have this checked as well. Keep anticipated FX processing unchecked because it doesn't work well with the U81 card. In fact, when you go ahead and select the U81 synchronous mode, it will automatically deselect anticipative FX processing if it is selected. Um, what else do we have here? Rendering block size. Make sure you keep this blank so it's in auto status. Uh, if you put any other number in here other than what your active project latency is, your uh, exports will not come out right. So just keep it blank. Don't even worry about it. Um, when you do the plug-in scan, what's going to happen is if you have some third-party VST wrappers installed, you're going to get you're going to get these plugins right here showing up and you do not want to use these see these it says U81 plugins but it also says DX VST if there's a DX pre uh, prefix or a DXI prefix on any of the plugins that you find in the the plugin browser here you don't want to use those those are basically being picked up by Reaper when it does its plugin scan because the third-party wrappers are make are showing them as bona fide plugins, and Reaper does not like to use third-party wrap plugins. 
uh, just use its own native uh, implementation, which is quite good. Uh, you can tell all the native effects that are uh, picked up by Reaper. They will only have one prefix. It's either going to say DX, you're going to say just VST or DXI or VSTI. It will not have two prefixes here, DX, VST, or whatever. Um, as you go to the VST tab, you'll see where the U81 plugins should be looking like. And it's right here, just VST. These are the ones you should be using right here. And what I've done is I've created my own folders here. Uh, created a new folder. I got a U81 folder. And once I got my plugins here, I just go ahead and uh, left click and add to your your folders here. So I've got my folder already set up with all my U81 plugins. So it makes it quite easy. Uh, other than that, you should be ready to go. Uh, that should do it for this segment. Thank you very much.